Hey guys, how's it going? Hope your day's going good. I'm finally about to move, I believe. So I'm hoping to move out of the mechanic shop today. Uh, I've got the materials to hopefully craft the last two bots we need, and then we're going to head off into a new area. Oh, it seems a pack of cows has spawned. wonder if they spawn in packs. That's the first time I've seen them in a while. Looks like we got a hay bot over there. So yeah, guys, we want to get moved today. We want to go ahead and move. So we've got a lot of stuff we need to transport. We've got two refineries, chests, we've got tires and stuff made because we're going to need a vehicle because we've got to transport all of this stuff. And we've got quite a bit of materials, especially once we have these next two bots because we're going to go ahead and be able to craft these bots. Um, let's go ahead and craft those. Actually, that'll be a good start to this. I need these component kits here, and then I'm going to need this metal, and oops. No, I'm trying to grab that. Yeah. Oh, and the paint gun, guys. Paint gun's awesome. All right, so get the dress bot craft. Oh, we're short on, short on some metal. Grab some of that. Scrap. Oh, wait, no, it's there. It's right there. We made it. We did make it. Oh, 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 we got the dress bot. We got the dress bot. All right, how does this work? So the dress bot, we give them these garments. Okay. So I got five. Okay. So we place them in there. Oh, okay. So we need cotton. I think we have some. Yep. We have a little bit left. It'll take 20 seconds for him to make whatever that is. And the cook bot. There we go. Crafted. So now we're going to have all of our bots. And hopefully that helps solve our food situation. It's been 20 seconds yet. No, 10 seconds remain. Oh. Wait. He's only a tiny little bot? Oh. Oh, he's actually just a little cute bot. Revival baguette. Feed your fallen friends to get them back on their feet and back into the action. So, okay. Okay, so this just takes uh, vegetables and stuff. Fills up the hunger meter to max. So, does it give water? That almost doesn't seem like it's worth, maybe. Okay, unbox. Congratulations, okay. So what if we, okay, so it costs five each time. Oh, so now that'll be in here under... Oh, we can go and have our... Uh... Oh, yeah. We can get our stuff that isn't burned up. We finally get shoes, guys. We finally get shoes. We don't have to wear a sock anymore. We can get good shoes. Alright, hopefully we get, like, a hat. That would be kind of cool. So it's just like a little sewing machine. Unbox. Oh, we got we got new gloves. All right. All right, guys. We need to make a trailer that can haul everything in here. So we need to be able to get all of the bots. We need a craft bot, the refined bots, the chests. Uh, the tires are for this. We need all our heads, circuit boards, everything here. Everything here needs to go. So what I'm thinking is, is we'll enter ludicrous build speed mode and we'll get a trailer built. And then we need to look at a truck.
trailer is completed, so this should work considerably well for exporting everything from this base. I'm not sure if we'll bring all of this stuff. Um, we might, though, because I have some ideas for uses for that. So I did change the back end up at the end. I added a little wheel hub and made it two tires for stability because we don't have suspension. And I'm definitely thinking of in the future when we're at the new base and we have way more material uh, making it a cross member. So let's go ahead and remove the lift and it'll fall, but then it'll flick up onto these. And I didn't do that right. So this is what it is before it's going, and then this is where it is after. So maybe it's this one that needed to be 90. I just figured out two things as I played with that there. Um, so this is the preset for where it is before, and then this is the first movement. And I believe these are like second movements that they'll commit after it achieves those, so you can compound. Um, but I also figured out that the way you do this is going side to side. I kept trying to do it like a circle, but you just grab and go side to side, which makes way more sense now that I figured it out. So we'll be able to hit that button once we connect it to the trailer, which will fold the legs up and it'll be good. Um, so one thing I want to do is, is I don't want a loose trailer because of lag, because um, it might get kind of laggy with everything on it and I have some ideas for the future for this trailer. So what I'm thinking is, is, is this actually, yes, this is a two block center. So that's a problem because it can only be a one block center. Okay, that's fixed up and now we're on a one block center. So now we just need to come here. Yes, so right here. Oops, didn't mean to delete that. So now what we want to do is I want to create a little bit of with there, we're gonna go there, and I think that's it. So now if I can get under here, like so, oh, it's on a lift, and we're, <laughs> um, oh, I picked up the controller, right, um, <laughs> oops. Nope, we don't want to connect there, so we want to connect to these two bearings. Wait, why are those... I'm confused why they're saying opposite directions, but we'll see how this works. Uh, that might mean something, I'm not sure. So then we connect that to there, and if we remove the lift... Yeah, it's the bearings going the wrong direction, so. Is that reset it? Okay, that resets it. Wonder why they're visually showing different. I don't know what that means, but now we've got this and our block is spinning. Oh, that could be something I didn't think of. So now, what if we had, like, let's say this is the trailer bed. And now it would be welded to the trailer bed. And you could fold your legs up. And then uh, now you can drive away and it's got a rotation point. So it's technically an attached trailer that's detachable. And then you would just break that block. Kind of like what we do with the hitch on this car. Is we have this one block, we just grab that, disconnect it, the trailer then falls off, and you can reattach the block and all that. So I think that'll be pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit that so when we drop it, it deploys. So now this means we need a truck. What are we going to do for a truck? Well, based on our materials, we don't have much of anything. I need to get more, way more chemicals if I want to make concrete which is not really going to be a thing. What if we made a brick truck, actually? I think I have some somewhere here. Yeah, bricks. Is that a bot? Yeah, what? Get, get out of here. You're not welcome here. Gotcha. 
Okay, um... So now... Oops. Oh yeah. Got this paint tool earlier, and it's it's pretty sweet. We're gonna go with white rims on this uh, truck. So I do kind of like this idea of just creating a brick truck. <laughs> so maybe it'll have some similar look to a box truck, or maybe we'll make it completely different. Maybe we'll add it to be custom. Um, but I think it could be kind of cool to have a brick truck because that'll be kind of crazy. You know, no one has a brick truck driving down the street made of bricks. So I need to craft a bunch of these bricks, which the cool thing about bricks is uh, that they are a direct conversion of the stone. So they cost 10 stone to make 10 brick. And it's one more durability. And really, I could have just used... Could have just used this, maybe. Alright, so this is what I came up with for now. Kind of made a little creeper head. Might might round these out, these windows, I'm not sure. Um, but so, you know, we just hit this little button in there. I want to put that on an OR gate, but... I don't want to mess with the logic gate currently. So then once we're back in here, we'll just hit that switch, close the doors back up. And I'm going to put the gas tank in the cab with the driver. I think that's just a flawless idea. I don't think anything possibly could go wrong with that. I really don't. So I have not test driven this at all. So I don't even know if it'll drive. Um... We're going to not upgrade it yet, and we're going to, oh, it has inverted steering, hold on. Yeah, go that way. There we go. Okay, so let's take it for a test drive. Is this actually going to drive? Oh... That's a problem. And so that that wheel well I put on it isn't allowing us to turn. I want I forgot to put it on this side. Um maybe Yeah, so this level needs to be kept clear. I'm glad material just falls through the map a lot of the times when you are taking it off. It's not like that's hard to get or anything. Um Okay, close the doors. Oh, oh, it came back. Stop. Open the doors. Open the doors. It'll, like, go through the ground and then reemerge later. Okay, so hopefully now we can get some turning in here. Oh, are we even going to clear it up front? Oh, we're even clearing it up front. That's awesome. So we now officially have a hauling truck. Surprised that doesn't uh, rub the tire off. So let's try and... Oh, that one came back too. That one dropped it the same thing. So let's go ahead and try and get this cornered. Nope, we're not going to corner that. Um, it's like backing a trailer up, so we need to go... Oh, oh, right, we do want to upgrade this to max. Yeah, we're going to get that at level 4 so we use less gas. <laughs> it's a sports truck. Um, Alright, let's pull up here. Try to. Okay, if it's going to stop like that on little bumps, um, we're going to have problems. Can I drive it with the doors down? No, because it actually pushes the car off the ground. So in that case, we need to load this truck up. So I'm not sure, um, not sure how much it can carry, but we're definitely going to find out. So let's go ahead and load the bots up first. And we'll get these on here. I should add a uh, little gate back here like I did on the doors. Okay, so we can stack that there. 
So I'll get this loaded up real quick. I was just getting the final things ready to move and I don't understand why this car is doing this. The suspension is completely, it's like it's completely busted. It doesn't even stick to anything. And I'm not sure what's causing it. I can't figure anything out. See, it's like broken as soon as you place it down. And it'll randomly do it. It's like not got anything caused. What the? So that's, um, okay. And with that, we are completely moved now into the new base. This is a good start. We have a wall of circuit boards, a lot. Uh, we'll start a farm in the next one. So we've got our resource collectors. They are now connected through chests into the craft bot and then into these, and then the dress bot's there. We'll just stack materials here that are stackable, and this is our various stuff for now with the cook bot. And this whole trailer will have to go a redesign, as well as this truck. I don't know why this suspension is glitching out so badly. Uh, maybe you can't do it like this, so I'm going to have to play with that a lot and see if I can figure it out. Uh, until then, I won't be able to do anything, so I need to figure that out pretty quickly. And with that, that'll be it for this episode, guys. So I will see you in the next one, and I have to fix all of these problems.